and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on. For some Golgari Stompy, we're going to go ahead and take this deck over to Ranked. It felt pretty good the last time that we played it, and I am almost to Mythic. We're not quite there yet. Um, had had some good wins with Gruul Midrange there, so we'll see how, how much closer Golgari Stompy takes us. We're going to be playing five rounds, and... Uh, We'll, we're, the goal is to go three and two. That's always our goal whenever we're playing five rounds of ranked. Um, I'll go ahead and put this up at zero, zero. So what the, the reason why this deck was built was to uh, try out the combo of Rotting Ragasaur and Vivian Arcbow Ranger. Those two cards work really well together. Uh, and so as you can see here, we're basically a mono green deck splashing for Rotting Ragasaur for the most part. We got a Choop in here for a little bit of removal also. But, you know, Riding Registrar, while it's a, it's a really big card, you know, like a 7-6 for 3 mana, it's, that's really, really big. But th that can get chump blocked pretty easily, right? And you have to discard a card every, every turn, and that's rough. So it, if it can get chump blocked really easily, well, what if you can give it trample? And that's what Vivian Arcbow Ranger can do. That plus 1 ability gives your creature trample. So you can put counters on the, the Registrar, make it even bigger than a 7-6, and give it trample. And it's just really hard to race that. So we have both Rotting Registrar and Steel Leaf, two big three, dro three drops <clears throat> that we're trying to curve into Vivian Arcbow Ranger afterwards and put a bunch of counters on these. Uh, also, re replacing Vine Mare with Ripjaw Raptor, there's just not as much control running around these days. So I think Vine Mare is not going to be as good. So we got some Ripjaw Raptors, moved them from the sideboard to the main deck uh, to help us out. You know, not only against aggro, but also Vivian giving Ripjaw Raptor trample, making it really big, making them have to block it. Uh, another good card with Vivian there. And so we uh, freed up some sideboard slots. I put some Reclamation Sages in here because of the, the Nexus decks that are running around. Um, and then we got some Vela Summers also because of all the mono blue decks and all the counter spells that people are playing, plus a Shifting Ceratops. The other, the other main deck change is we played... Uh, whatever that one drop is that gets bigger whenever you play other creatures. Um, we took that thing out. I'm taking that thing out and playing Harpooners because of all the mono blue around and everything. And Harpooner is just a, a solid two drop also, just being a two mana, three, two. Get some counters on it. It gets pretty big. Um, gives us some interaction against different flying decks, decks with flyers also. Um, so that's what we got. Yeah, I ended up taking... Yeah, we used to have... I had Assassin... An assassin's trophy over here before and i also had some carnage tyrants but i've kind of cut those cards for more better interaction with like aggro decks and stuff here pelt collector there we go that was the name of the card i like i could think of the letter p but then i was like well that's paradise druid maybe that's maybe that's incorrect but there we go yes yeah, pelt collector uh that's our deck it's vivian tribal ish uh, i also i had three of these vivians three of these vivians before but this vivian is just so good that i'm upping this one to four and bringing this one down to two. All right, let's see how we can do. See if we can get a three, two, or if we exceed expectations and get a nice four, one. So if you're somebody who's, who's you know, like when you're playing ranked matches, uh, really just any matches of Magic, if you are not happy going three and two, you need to probably adjust expectations. Um, you know, whenever you play five matches, if you win three of them, that's 60% win rate. That's a really, really good win rate. Magic's tough. There's a lot of variance and everything. If you if you could just keep on winning 60% of your matches, you're going to be doing awesome. Um, yeah, Knight of the Ebon Legion would be a good option for this deck if it's if you get to cast it consistently. I'm playing 13 black sources seems like i'm playing 13 lands with these hands Let's see what we got. 
I'm going I'm going risky here keeping the the Vivian Reed over like a Paradise Druid because I'm trying gonna try to you know hedge my bets hedge hedge my bets if we just draw lands. Ugh. I still have something good to play. I didn't live through hell to lose to you. Alright, so feather deck. Let me show probably you tough lost. for us. I'm taking up Vivian here instead of minusing because of uh, 10th District Legionnaire. Ooh, no land drop. Uh, no, let's minus. Minus means I don't get to attack with Land War Elf. Oh, Plus means I would fun. be able to attack with Land War Elf. Uh, this could be good against Feather later. Or I try to just put pressure on. I think it's probably best to put pressure on. So champion does mean I get to attack. Yeah, goblins is good. Uh, nothing. Yeah, nothing wrong. Two two. Uh, the deck felt pretty good. We talked about afterwards, like maybe some some things to change. But it was good. You can still walk away. All right, so they found their red mana. I assume this is just feather, but maybe they don't have feather. That'd be nice. I would, I would be very happy if it's not feather. Yeah, we we kind of have a decision. Like, so we can we can play the the seven six and the and the Lanowar elf, but then we'd have to discard Ripjaw or Vivian, which obviously we're probably not discarding Vivian. So I guess we just don't get to play the land war off if we want to play the seven six. now strike hard wow they didn't have any spell to save huh I was kind of planning on playing the Vivian here well now I definitely regret playing that land now I have to discard Vivian. Definitely regret playing that land now. Hey, Matthew. Welcome back. Ah, oh, lucky you get some amazing t Italian food. Sounds good. All right, so they're going to have two blockers or removal plus a blocker. Which, if they have two blockers, it's unlikely that they have protection spell also. Ah, uh, yeah, I am jealous. Yes, I could have, yes, I could have played Vivian there 
and then upkeep, discard trigger on the stack, play the, the Ripjaw Raptor. The Ripjaw Raptor, of course, would not have been attacking there. But with them going to three and not having any creatures, I thought uh, just trying to have the two lethal attackers here is the way to go. And it worked out. Maybe not Galta. I don't know. Like, all these cards are certainly reasonable, and so is Legion's End. Maybe Vivian's this too slow. Maybe Guardians are too slow. Let me just take out Guardians. Get this Vivian back. Would I rather play a Vivian or a Legion's End? Well, they, they have Feather. That's a flyer. That's a very, very important flyer to kill. It's their most important card in their deck. Try Vivian. So we, we still want harpooners. All right, Kurtash, have a good night. If we would replace. That's something that we've been discussing that I think we were discussing before we hit, uh, started recording for the stream is if um, Thorn Lieutenant or Growth Chamber Guardian, what which one would we want? Which both of them, both of them are pretty decent. Um, yeah, I, I like I like Thorn Lieutenant and I like Growth Chamber Guardian. I can see the goodness of both of them. So the question here was, would we, if we had Thorn Lieutenants instead, would we take them out? And yeah, Thorn, Thorn Lieutenants wouldn't, wouldn't really be that great in this matchup either. Remember when I knew a box, baby. We're going to discard the temple. We'll have the forest that we'll be able to play Vivian and Duress. Guess that does mean that I have to discard Steel Leaf Champion the next turn. survived an apocalypse. I will survive you. We're Chomp. gonna tear you apart. Mr. Chompers. <laughs> 
jump. Dinosaur does look like it likes to chomp. And next turn, you know, we can turn that into a 9-8 trampler. By taking up Vivian. Hmm. That's really unfortunate. They have another feather, Angle plus they have so far. that salmon spread also. Ugh. We'll have to discard the Vivian. Not good. Why'd they have to have a second feather? This is kind of the problem, though, with Rotting Registrar. Have you seen? Like, we've had to, you know, discard two cards. We're going to have to discard this one also. We're going to have to discard good cards. But if I would have led with Steel Leaf Champion, they would have killed the Steel Leaf Champion with the Rage. Yeah, Liliana's Triumph's a good cyborg card against Feather, definitely. Uh, we haven't played too much against Feather. This is my first time. Like, I didn't, I didn't play against Feather yesterday. I don't believe so. Like. It's not quite as pos popular as it was just like a day or two ago. All right, so we're going to trade here. They'll have four pump spells in hand with no creatures. I'm taking the Samet Sprint because that thing scries. And also give one of their threats haste if they draw a threat. So please, no creature. Just pass. Just no creature. Nope. All right, good. Oh, come on, deck. We drew this the five mana Vivian at such the wrong time. This does let them cycle the Defiant Strike by myself playing this. Wish we could have had this, gave this haste.
Gaffney and Clarion? Interesting. I want to take a God's Willing or a Reckless Rage. Willing. Okay. That update, if you're watching this later on, or I mean, y'all already know here in chat, but if you're watching this later on, that update is for the new mastery system that's now going to be uh, weekly rewards instead of daily rewards. Maybe they'll cast Colossus. In 10 minutes? I'm not going to be able to finish my match in 10 minutes. I mean, now if they just have a creature, we lose. That's a creature. We lose. Let's go to the next game. Well, here, we'll take our draw step. Okay, let's go to the next game. Maybe we'll win this in the next nine minutes that are left. I'm pretty confident we would have had that if we were on the play. That that game that we just played. Uh, Growth Chamber Guardian would have been a great card to draw. I was actually like hoping to draw Growth Chamber Guardians in there. I guess they weren't even in my deck though. <laughs> um, 26 land. Hmm. Can you pay kicker cost on spells you cast with Dire Fleet Daredevil? Not 100% sure. I believe so. I believe so. But I'm not 100% on that. Yeah, I, I kind of want to play Reclamation Sage. There wasn't really anything I wanted to take out, though. All right, so this time I am going to be leading with Steely first. This is not a, a, the kind of hand that I want to be discarding any cards. I uh, see. So yeah, I, I will be leading with Steel Leaf first. No, of course not, Snarecrow. Go ahead. All right, well, I guess Regisaur doesn't doesn't die to the, the thing that does four damage like Steel Leaf does. Maybe we just discard Steel Leaf.
This this like basically makes sure that we can have Galta next turn. Wow. That was pretty nice. Well, Galta costs 12 mana. We could not have played Galta. <laughs> our our 7 6, like, we had 2 power. It was way too expensive. So I could play Steel Leaf and Galta, but then I have to discard Vivian next turn. I think I'm good with discarding Steel Leaf Champion. I do think my opponent has a, a protection spell for Feather. You know how they're shocking in and everything. I, I do think they have, you know, God's Willing or uh, the Indestructible One, probably God's Willing. Which is why I didn't just like have Vivian kill the feather. Because last turn. Do you think they have a God's Willing? Tearing this place to the ground. Uh, 
I'd get out of the way if I were you. Should I just be attacking the Paradise Druid too? Honestly, maybe I should. Honestly, maybe I should just be attacking the Paradise Druid too. So this is 21 trample damage. They're at 14. Yeah, I should have just attacked with the Paradise Druid too. They had the gods willing, as expected. So are they going to be able to beat this Galta? Doesn't look like it. That's only 10 toughness. So I guess the 10th district legion, putting the gods willing on the legionnaire makes it bigger, bigger enough, but like... No, nah, not with the Vivian and everything. All right. There wasn't enough damage to go through to the Spellbreaker. I did five damage to the Arcanist and then four to the Feather, but the Feather got the protection. But you still have to assign lethal according to toughness before. I can't just, like, after. I, or, I already ordered them. I put Arcanist one, Feather two, Spellbreaker three after ordering them like that. Uh, I can't then just deal damage to the creature that I, I ordered third before the creature I ordered second. So. So, yeah, trample with protection. Um, like, let's say, like, you only have to do uh, enough damage to present lethal to the creature. <sighs> So like the twelve twelve will still like if they like this. have this three four block with protection could still trample over eight more. So they they are dead. They're dead before the chupacabra. The Chupacabra play just doesn't really matter. Yep, Bear, that, that's right, yep. I order, and then God's willing, then actual damage happens. I can't put counters on their creature. It's protection from green. I don't. I don't think my opponent knew knows how that that works though. I think my opponent how they were doing that. I think. I think they thought that it would have just gobbled up. Is that just one and zero, or is that two and zero? Was that just our first match? All right, I have to exit now. Because of that update, they won't let me play.
Hey, what's up, Nudge? All right, got to go download this update here. It's kind of unfortunate. Still appreciating the competitive, though off-meta decks you showcase. Keep up the great content. Aw, you're welcome, Nudge. Thank you so much. All right, I am getting it downloaded now. <clears throat> the okay so uh the update um changes the the way that the mastery system works or your, your rewards um instead of being like just daily and there's a daily cap there's now a weekly cap so yeah the weekly wins are back Um. Uh, no, all, all performance issues will not be fixed. I can just tell you that. Uh, no, I do not know where the patch notes are. The deck I'm probably most confident in as far as getting wins for right now would be the Gruel mid-range that we played earlier. Hey, thanks so much, Morgan. Thanks for the cheers. This is not the most exciting part. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can probably fast forward ahead. Lucky, you're watching there and get to fast forward. There you go. Here's the developer update page. So weekly wins are returning. You get 250 experience per win up to 15. Quests now give you 500 instead of 800. And daily wins, there's no more like the daily wins. So you just get those. Um, and there's also there will also be chronicles, where you get a thousand experience per event across five events. Kind of like I'm guessing that's what they kind of like what they did uh, with those other those other things uh, with the stained glass planeswalkers. So cool. So if you play three times a week, you now expect to get to be able to get to level 94 instead of level 90. But yeah, for the people that only play once a week, now they can get to level 67 instead of level 32. So that's a whole lot better. Cool. Awesome. To complete the tree, you have until the next set comes out. Uh, I think I think like the the trees and the 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 whole mastery program uh, 
is designed for like whenever an entire set is out. So, you know, you have like the three months or so. And <laughs> no amount of XP is worth playing them here. <laughs> New events get 30 wins in Momir. Get 30 wins and 30 losses. There's one of each. Uh, yeah, anytime, Morgan. I can play your Black Lantern deck. You know, not tonight, but like any other day. It hasn't even started downloading yet. It did all that other part and hasn't even started downloading. At least we know that this update has zero BS. So that's good to know. Yep, I have. Yep, any opening is ready, to, is good to go tomorrow. Nope. I have one. Uh, I have one donation deck to do, to play tomorrow. Another reanimator deck. But they said that they they would take any slot. They didn't really care which slot. So that's all I have scheduled for tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, the metagame challenge is back starting in starting this weekend. That's something they've done after the sets have been released. They've done that uh, for the previous sets also. Cool. All right. Yeah, just send me a link to the list. You, know, you can like PM me on uh, Discord. Just send it to me on over there. All right, we're back. Oh, sorry, Kosar. I, I missed your question the first time. I'm sorry. Uh, is it tempo deck that uses some cards and a mono blue shell and some choice red cards? If anyone wants to take take a look. Yeah, if I. Yeah. Yeah, I'll try to take a look here, Kosar. Any recommendations for beating the competitive metagame challenge? I mean, it's basically just like playing, you know, it's just like playing matches, you know, like any, you know, any other matches. It's just, uh, you have to kind of get a little lucky because you need to go on a win streak. As your first loss, you get eliminated. But there's nothing, no, like, special trick, you know, it's... Just put the link to the deck here, Zuper. If you have if you have like the the list on a website. Or sorry, sorry, that was for Kosar. Sorry. It's for Kosar. Gracious Hydra. That's a problem.
Okay, am I laying anywhere else? So yeah, it looks pretty good, Kassar. I... Um... I'm not sure if Storm Tamer or Spectral Sailor, like which one of those is better. I just don't know. Full damage to Planeswalkers? Yeah. Really, really hope they don't have Hydroid Crisis for their last card. Really hope no Hydroid Crisis last card. Perfect. Thank you so much, good brother. We got Leyline Ascendancy. That sounds pretty sweet. Thanks there, good brother. Yeah, I can play that tomorrow. So you'll be my third donation deck for tomorrow. Yeah, we'll have a nice donation deck day tomorrow. The land fights for us. Perfect. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, I'll save that. All right, well, their last card wasn't Krasis. It was Manipulation. Johnny Stefani. Getting that tier one sub. Thank you so much there, Johnny. Keeping those hype going. All right, so number 14. Hmm. Is duress... Dress worth worth playing to try to grab that Nissa. I feel like every time like against this deck, you know, they, they just have like Nissa manipulation. Every time I bring in duress, they just don't have the spell in hand, and then they just draw a spell right afterwards. It never works. And that's your luck, too. Yeah, maybe I should have taken out the five, like one of the five mana Vivians for a Ceratops. Hmm. On the draw, I'd be mulliganing this. I'm going to try it on the play. If our opponent has a, a slower hand, we could get there. Those were not ideal. Didn't get a two drop in here. Three lands off the top. 
for the first three cards. That's great. Well, so much for them having a slower hand. Just, it's like I, I want to play Vivian and tick up and start, you know, like making this steel leaf huge, but I'm just not going to beat mass manipulation. But I guess I'm not going to beat mass manipulation no matter what, so. From the smallest ant to the largest hydra, nature is beautiful. This will be fun to watch. Yeah, I have three veils in the side that I brought in. We don't have them, though. All right, cool. No four blue. Yeah, Melody. I'm not beating Melody either. No, I'm not beating that card either. We do have him on a fast clock here, though. Power surges through these lands. The land shall conquer. Yeah, so much for them having a slow hand. So much for that. I'm made for conflicts like this. My, my, how you've grown. Oh, come on. That's a, that's a very good quality hand. GG. If you decline, it goes to the bottom. Either put it on top or put it on bottom. It's basically you get to scry it. Yesterday it was mono blue was the deck that was giving us our losses. Today it's just been Nissa. This is gonna be the last three losses were all gonna be Nissa here. And probably some from before that, I don't remember. All right, one and one. 
All right, so lesson is bring in duress. We need to have duresses. Yeah, that was a great hand for them also, but yeah, I need addresses. Uh, no, I don't think they should reprint Young Pyromancer. I wouldn't be upset if they did, though, but I'd... I don't think it's necessary to reprint it, so saying should, no. Do need another green source for like the Steel Leaf, Vivian, you know, all this kind of stuff. I only have one swamp in the deck. Out of the 25 lands, 24 are green and there's just one swamp. Yeah, Sahili's not that great. Murmur Mystic is, is the best of those. The ones that make uh, tokens and everything. Hey, GG's, Mokusito. GG's. Uh, yuck. I'm not sure. So yeah, Mokusito, that, the game three, the very last turn, the Galta was going to be trampling over with the God's Willing. It didn't matter. Um... Like you know, with the protection, I'm not. I'm not sure if you if you knew that or not. You know, I, I played the Chubacabra. I didn't have to. It, it wasn't doing any. You know, didn't didn't do anything. Um, yeah, Murmuring Mystic's a lot better than Kaikar. Yay, Green Source. Let's get Ripjaw in here. Okay, you did. Okay. Wasn't exactly sure. I just wanted to make sure, just just in case you didn't, I just wanted to make sure you did. You know? But, cool. You knew. The hey, Nissa. The only card we've been losing to. Be wary That's of fun. I have survived Nico Bolas, and I will survive you. I'd get out of the way if I were you. Just want to have another good blocker. Um, yeah, you know, could minus and do damage to Nissa, of course, but we can't really kill Nissa yet. I wonder if my opponent's playing my Gruel Midrange deck from earlier. It could be. Behold, nature's true power. Yeah, Nissa was definitely printed with one too many, maybe even two too many loyalty counters. Absolutely one. Like, it, it really shouldn't be ticking up to six. Like, five, maybe. Four seems like a much better number than, than six. I've endured worse.
Hmm. This will be fun to watch. I should have done one and one. I should make that steel leaf a 6 5 also. I should have done the one and one like I was thinking. Field of the Dead. I haven't I haven't seen a Field of the Dead deck that I'm like super impressed with yet. But as far as, you know, like a land goes, it's Be wary of the ground It's definitely like you can't say it's a bad land because it does give you some good stuff for just being a land. to disappear into the brush. Hmm. No lands. my elemental friend. I am Scala's Vengeance, and I'm coming for you next. Time. Alright, so now we have three good blockers against the Growth Chamber Guardians. And I'm gonna kill Nissa this next turn. With the Vivian. The land fights for us. And Paradise Druid could trade with the land also. The land will not be my aim and their claws. You're done. This is a crazy game. I didn't like you. I've seen things that would break someone like you. enough to survive. Alright, now we got four blockers against Growth Chamber Guardians. And Team Vivian takes over. <laughs> I don't feel like a two mana 12-12 is fair. Yeah, I could see. I could see why you don't think a two mana 12-12 is fair. Playing a green blue proliferate deck, Sharkto Crabs are winning hard by proliferating them and tapping enemy critters. 
It could definitely do that. It has it has that ability. If the game's you know, if the if the game presents itself. Yeah, it's it's, it's not a bad card. Hmm. What's my last card to cut? Do I want to play one? Nah. I'm just going to get rid of GCG. I think if that was Thorn Lieutenant, I'd be keeping Thorn Lieutenant. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm going to get some duresses in here. So I should probably cut three mana Vivian. Dang it, we drew three mana Vivian. I guess Flash is pretty cool. Massacre Girl may not be so bad in this matchup. Definitely good against Nyssa. Yeah, I could certainly see playing Massacre Girl. Lost so much already. I won't lose more. Starting over is the only way. Strike now! Strike hard! Unfortunately, I can't really play Reggie here. There is wonder in a blade of grass. Because if I do, I have to discard Galta. Yeah, Legion's End's pretty mean. Yeah, that was pretty mean. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could have flashed in. Yeah, no, y'all are right. Yeah, yeah. I could have flashed in Galta on my upkeep because we had the Vivian. Yeah. Ooh, got a bunch of XP. Cool. Why does why does it only go two to three weekly wins? Isn't it supposed to be get to fifteen weekly wins? I feel like I just leveled up, but I didn't get anything. Does I only have a hundred XP? If we would have just got two fifty XP, shouldn't I have just leveled up? Oh, it's five hundred gold. Okay, so yeah, we we got the five hundred gold. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, so yeah, it still just goes to 15. It'll say 3 out of 4, then 4 out of 5, and so on. Yeah, Kitsune, you can. Go ahead. Yes, yeah, so you just have to you give them your email and they send you a code for a free Chandra deck.
It'd be on Arena. That would not be a paper thing. I'm not... Oh, you just give it a, a random email? Okay. Well, was, what I started to say, though, is I'm not uh, thrilled about playing the Feather deck again. I think we were kind of fortunate to win the last time. I'm not real confident here. I've survived an apocalypse. I will survive you. We're gonna tear you apart. I will not go extinct. Close your eyes and listen to the sounds of the wild. I'd get out of the way if I were you. All right, looks like this this one's a loss. Okay, let's get Duresses, Legion's Ends, Choop. I don't know about the other Galta. Same kind of sideboard we're doing for most all of these. Steel Leaf just Steel Leaf is just really bad against Reckless Rage, which is quite unfortunate. All right, let's give this a try. I yeah, Massacre Girl would kill a Danto Vanguard, but I don't expect them to keep a Danto Vanguard in their deck. And I don't I don't really expect Massacre Girl to kill the other things. I guess unless it kills mana creatures on my end. Yeah, Feather is hard to beat with the creature deck. It's exactly what this is the exact kind of matchup the feather wants to be playing against. Would be one earlier. 
it was a, a close set where I had I had definitely had good hands uh, with the games I was winning. Yeah, we had a lot of the of rotting regisaurs earlier. The the uh, seven sixes. I didn't want to go to combat and like attack and then and not attack with land war elf and then while I'm in combat and not attacking with land war elf they like bolt my land war elf then I don't get to play rippy with the arc bow at my side I can't lose a fight they may have a shock for harpooner Don't think they'll have instant speed removal. Yep, for Ripjaw. That's why I just went with it. Both counters on Ripjaw. My my, how you've grown. Can we get game three? Get game three. Not really a hand that I like too much. No big creature. There's a big creature. I was there's another big creature. I was gonna say that we had the temples to help find some. I'm going Ripjaw next turn. Wasteland won't be reprinted in standard. Just, just has zero chance. Legionnaire is awesome. I, I honestly don't really know what I'm going to do to deal with this Legionnaire. Am I going to am I gonna double block it next turn? I should have just I should have just played the rotting register last turn. I guess. They should have done Defiant Strike here. I mean, they could have they could have another spell in hand, so it doesn't matter. I just have another Reckless Rage. 
Not just awesome hand for them. All right, two and two. That was a really, really great hand for them. We had turn three, four, five, and turn four, seven, six, and died. Yeah, that's that's what they said in chat. All you have to do is just play big creatures. That's what they said. All right, last match here. Let's go for the three two. We are two and two. Um, man, this is slow on the draw, but it is pretty powerful. But we're gonna ship it. This is worse. I'd rather have the first hand. Ugh. Do I want to go to? Do I want to go to five though? If this wasn't winning on seven, how is this winning on six? Yeah, don't don't you hate that? You mull your seven, look at your six, and you're like, man, I'd rather have my seven. Can I just go back? All right, Royal Flush, what's what's your question? Red black removal deck. I don't I don't know. Um yeah, I don't I don't have any answer for for that question. Yeah, I don't I don't view it like that at all. But I don't I don't know the the ethics of the mastery pass thing is not something that I care to discuss. I've survived an apocalypse. I will survive you. So they just have a shock, which is, you know, like, definitely my really my likely. How you've grown. The attack's not really very good for me, because, you know, they get to block in, like, the, the block and shock trading there. If I attack first, my opponent is absolutely blocking. But maybe they're not. Maybe they're scared of post combat removal spell. But even post combat removal spell, they still they still trade their Phoenix for champion and post combat removal spell. Mm. You were lucky to get that close. 
All right, so yeah, so we did have the shock. With larger now we got a couple of good six fives to attack in with. They could even chump block with Remati Reveler if they wanted to, because Steel Leaf Champion cannot be blocked by. Creatures with toughness two or less. So we get to just pass, see what they do, because they have to do something. Okay, or they didn't do anything. So, like, if they would have used a burn spell on my 2-2, two -two, I could then respond to make it a 4-4. Four -four. All right, so they are... Not just a red-black removal deck, you know, like, they, they're definitely a more aggressive deck. They just had a, a bad hand kind of thing. You know, we saw Dreadhorde Butcher. Masker Girl is good against Phoenix. Let's go with this. <laughs> yep, not attacking there and was the was the right play we called it. Lots of damage based stuff. Which Ripjaw Raptor, of course, is very good against damage based stuff. Yeah, you can still now, yep, you can fix, fix a few days and get the XP. Um, did I have the link? No. You're worthy. Tear it down. Tear it all down. That's not fortunate. Hmm. I was worried about that with minusing the Vivian right away. Not bad for a mouse. in unison with the wild with my aim and 
their claws, you're done. All right, got that thing out of here. Rude. Hecka rude. All right, it's going to be a little tough getting through those. to hone my skills. We're going to try with some big dinos, though. Unfortunately, we put another uh, Arcbow Ranger at the bottom of our library. That would be our best draw that we could have. Stop. With the phoenixes. So good showing for Growth Chamber Guardian here over Thorn Lieutenant, where I get to, you know, activate the Growth Chamber Guardian and then and uh, grab more and everything. Okay, I guess I need to attack. Yeah, this is a good battle here. I am not confident we're going to be winning this battle. Vivian would have been perfect, you know, given both of these rotting Regisaurs, making both 8-7 Tramplers. That would have been a great draw for us. So they're going to be doing 3 damage to me here. I guess th this actually kills me, doesn't it? Yeah, this exactly kills me. All they have to do is attack with both their creatures. And I die. Because the Judith... Because, you know, blocking the Judith is going to still do one damage to me. I guess I need to attack my two Paradise Druids also. Yeah, I need, I need to attack with my Paradise Druids. I messed that up. I didn't I didn't really consider the... When I was doing like the, the math of like attacking stuff, I didn't really consider the Midnight Reaper triggers. TBH. Alright, seeing more of their deck... Masker Girl is appealing. More appealing than five mana Vivian. Yeah, who attacks the Druids? Yeah, Midnight Reaper was the hidden MVP for me. Yep. Should have attacked all out. I missed that. Whoa, I've had gifting out some subs, gifting out five subs to the channel. Everybody get a, a bunch of hype in the channel. Thank you so much, I've had. And that gets us to 19 subs on the day. So we are one away from another sub goal. So if you want to keep these hype boats going, hit that sub button, and we'll get to our second sub goal of the day before we get out of here. Wild animals I like. 
people, let me show you what was lost. Thank y'all so much, though. So, yeah, Suvi Sock, Real Telster, Echo Jin, Thug Funny, Tony, Idaho. Enjoy the subs. There we go. And so this is our last match of the night. So we need one more subscriber to get another sub goal. What the sub goals do is uh, whenever we hit 20 total sub goals, we're doing a 12 hour stream. So that, so they get us towards that. Ah, I'm a survivor. <laughs> I've seen puppies whine less than you. So do I want to flash in Paradise Druid? Yeah, 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 I do. I'm going to play Steel Leaf and Paradise Druid here. I could almost play Rotting and Galta. One mana short. <sighs> Not dead yet. I guess I have to do this first, because if, if they block a Paradise Druid, I wasn't going to have enough mana. I was going to be the one mana short again if a Paradise Druid was gone, so I had to do that first, even though gave them information about not blocking. Thanks, I've had. So yeah, if you're enjoying the stream and would like to help support me as a full-time streamer, get us to the second sub-goal. They definitely just don't have more knights, do they? There we go, Jay Sank. Thanks, Jay. Thank you very much. You are awesome, Jay. Thank you so much. Sub number 20. We'll be cracking a pack after this for getting that sub goal. And we'll mark it down. That's sub goal number 15. So we're at 15 out of 20 sub goals now. Only five more before I do another 12-hour stream. So, uh, you know, hopefully in the next three, four, five days we get there, and then I'll be doing a 12-hour stream maybe this weekend. You know, it's Wednesday right now, maybe this weekend. Ooh, got more XP. All right, let's crack a pack for hitting that sub goal. Yeah, Rotting Registor gave us a lot of power to help play the Galta. Ugh, not a mythic. We're trying to open up Mythics. All right, so we got Gold Golgari, Stompy. Pretty good showing. You know, three and two. Let's update that. Three and two is exactly what we wanted to do. You know, like that's what we set out for, as we talked about. Six, 60 percent win rate. Can't complain about that at all. Um, Vivian Arcbow Ranger, of course, just really, really strong. Uh, the Kral Harpooners weren't really that good. We didn't play against a whole lot of flying stuff, but still, um, all of the Vivians kind of do things against flying stuff. Maybe we, like, you know, we just didn't see Mono, mono Blue. Uh, as we talked about, Thorn Lieutenant would be a card that could be pretty decent. 
Um, if we if we're not really like I think Harpooner is like our main deck card if we're expecting a lot of mono blue. If you're not expecting mono blue, I do I like some Thorn Lieutenants there. Um, as we talked about before, they were uh, they were used to be pelt collectors in the deck there, and the pelt collectors uh, weren't uh, weren't super impressive. They were okay. But I think I would rather have Thorn Lieutenant than the Pelt Collectors. Um, yeah, that is true. Mono Blue does hide when we pull out the Harpooners. Yep. Now, if you put Thorn Lieutenants in like this, then you'll just play against Mono Blue all the time. Uh, Cyborg felt pretty good overall. The Command the Dread Horde is against control decks, you know, like Grixis, Esper, stuff like that. Um, Our, our sideboard felt pretty good. Feather is going to be kind of a tough matchup, but we went 1 1 against Feather. Good showing there. But yeah, felt pretty solid. You know, like this isn't just like the, the Gruel deck, uh, the Gruel mid range that we played earlier. There's nothing too fancy about this deck, but it felt just pretty solid. The Arcbow Ranger is just. Is just an awesome planeswalker with these big creatures. And so, yeah, we just play some big creatures, play some Arcbow Ranger, and smash, just attack. Um, so, there we go. All right, so that's Golgari Stompy. So, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd really appreciate that. That's it here for, for Golgari Stompy. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.